Okay, here's a little disclaimer for you. Okay, once we have the top taken off, if you have a flathead screwdriver, you can push in and these clips will undo and you can lift the top up. From here we can inspect the belt. See that belt, there's no cracks in it, it's pretty good shape. Even if there were cracks in it, um, I usually use them until they split, until they, <clears throat> until they break. So we got the screws here on the sides. That's where I usually put the screws. Go right in there. Take those off. And then we can pull the front off. Of course you'll need a little nut driver, like the one I got here. And then we can lift this up and off. Be careful with this so you don't break it. Usually what I do is I just tuck this to the side and leave that there. You can see this. It's got a little bit of play here. We can take up the play so it has more of an even ride on this bushing here. What I usually do is just stick something in between here so this moves and stays this way. <clears throat> and you can see that we have quite a bit of lint built up. Not too bad, but there is quite a bit of lint, lint built up. Of course, this is a fire hazard. And uh, typically what happens is when I see a lot of lint inside here, that means basically they, they've got poor flow. So the vent they had rigged up uh, was not very adequate. And uh, poor uh, circulation flow is the main cause of dryer, dryer failures. Basically, there's an overheat fuse that will blow if you don't have good flow on your vent. And so, why would you take your dryer apart like this? Well, if you have a, a rattling noise, a funny noise, or your drum, uh, your, 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 uh, your machine may not even come on if the belt is broke, so you can check and see if you have a good belt. And if we look in here, we can see how this belt goes on this idler. Basically goes around and then around the pulley as well. So, and then the way I usually take this off, I just push this forward and pull this belt out of here like that. And then you can grab the drum with the belt and then just pull it out of there. Okay, so here's my technique for pushing this belt out. Basically, you can take some duct tape, wrap it up the opposite way, and just stuff it in there, basically, so the sticky side is out, and it will stick in there. And it pushes this felt bushing out all the way, so that um, the top bushing has more to ride on. This top bushing here. Okay, so once you have the drum out of here, you can inspect the motor, the rollers, and the idler. So we look at the motor, it seems to spin freely. We look at the idler, oh, excuse me, the roller. There's no slop in it, it's not stiff. It's got a little bit of wear on the shaft, but it's still 100% usable. Take a look at this one. It's a little stiff, um, but it's not sloppy, it's not falling apart, and it is usable. Take a look at the idler, see if it spins freely, not too sloppy, this one's in pretty good shape. So all we have to do is <clears throat> take a couple of drops of oil, and we're going to lube these drive shafts on this, and then also in here. And you might take a drop of oil and put it in there, and maybe drop in there, right there. And maybe a drop in here. If you want to clean all this lint out, if you have a vacuum cleaner, you can vacuum it out. If you have a paintbrush, you can, a dry paintbrush, you can get most of it out that way as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, you also want to inspect here. Make sure you don't have any lint built up in here. And you don't have any lint built up in here. So uh, that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. I give phone consultations for $25. If you need help, you can contact me 707-443-8347. Again, 707-443-8347. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.